order maintains itself. The sweet, meowing Thai music patters and jolts into your head and tries to construct something beautiful there but finds only western foundations. Sweet meowing, water lilies, lotus blossoms, butterflies big as your hand, silver offerings, artfully folded paper roses, hot peppers, swaying black-haired women with fragrant oils glistening on hazelnut skin. You want to touch this and supposing you don't, they dance uninvited into your hands. How can you make of it something intended only for you, significant, truthful? All this is common property. We dream it in advance. Now you do it. Think of handmade silk suits and crocodile leather handbags, aphrodisiacs of powdered panther's teeth, and look, you've landed there. The music screeches and coils. There's a wrestling bout with a crocodile beneath the violated skin. A gaping pink cavity bleeds. A furious panther paces behind fine wire mesh in too small a cage. So that's enough of that. Let's cool off quickly in a small diverting boat. Puppy dogs, flowering bamboo, laughing children slick in black water. Quench your thirst with a mango long drink under red orange parasols. A many headed god is crouching on the thick shadowed bank and shakes his seven heads with a dragonish smile. What are they trying to do over there in the west? Build a log cabin out of bamboo paste, a snowman out of coconut. Do they really think if they place enough Buddhas on their window sills or in their gardens or their bathrooms with a candle and a smoking stick of incense, they will manage to keep the screeching parrots that live in their brains at bay.